Welcome back, you beautiful fucks. It's me, Danny. It's time for part two of our Bandai vs. Playmates. And this may be the final one for now until future figures come out. Last video you saw, Playmates, they took the win. All right, by two, I believe. Because it was like four to two. Pretty close. But Playmates persevered. Will it be the same here? This time we are looking at Toho figures from Toho Kaiju. Because if you remember, and you should, unless you were born five days ago, Playmates had their Toho classic line. So, and unfortunately that line is no longer running. Uh, they ceased it. Uh, they put it in the ground. However, they still do MonsterVerse figures. Obviously, that's what we talked about in the last video. But I thought it was a fun time doing the last Playmates vs. Bandai video. Let's do this again, but this time let's bring up the Toho Monsters and compare. Was Playmates holding their was Playmates holding a torch in 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 the cave that is the cave of figures, or were they just holding a weak little little lighter that barely lit the cave at all? Does that make sense? Is this metaphor working? Let's just get into this, all right? Bandai vs. Playmates Part 2, starting now. First up, we got Destroya. Same concept as last time. On the left is Movie Monster Series. On the right is Playmates. And with these Destroya figures, um, again, I kind of think about this on the fly. The Movie Monster Series, the paint job is very basic um, and it's not in scale at all but it's not shiny unlike the Playmates one which is very glossy um, look definitely looks like a cheap toy but has a bit more articulation in some areas and scales pretty good for six inches I believe it's about six and a half inches tall so it does kind of you know, I guess you could say tower over a burning Godzilla figure. Not by much, but it will look nicer next to one. So, honestly, when, when I looked at these two figures, the ones I have, I, I, I lean more towards Playmates. I honestly do. I think, granted, again, it's it looks like a cheap toy, which it was. And I'm not bringing up prices. Well, I might bring up prices. We'll see. I, I try not to let that dictate uh, too much here because these are pretty inexpensive figures for the most part on both ends. Um, but I this round, I'm giving it to Playmates. Up next, Final Wars Godzilla or Godzilla 2004. <sighs> Man, this is going to be a hard one. Just kidding. Obviously, the Movie Monster series, it looks real accurate. Detail and paint is great. This is the most recent release in 6 inch scale, by the way. From the Movie Monster series. Uh, Playmates, I remember when the, the first image of this figure, someone found it at a Walmart and they posted it online and I saw it and I was like, oh no. <laughs> that was the thought I had. There was no excitement of like, oh, a new Godzilla figure. It was a, oh no, look what they done. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, the Playmates one's bad. It's, like, even if you don't have a 2004 Godzilla, it's like, do you want one? Do you need one that bad that you will pay for this Playmates one? I did. I have both of these figures. You know, sometimes you just get them because they look so bad. It's just fun to have. Uh, uh, wink, wink. Definitely going to bring that up later on with a certain other figure. But, yeah, this round definitely just goes straight to Playmate or Bandai. Bandai definitely takes the cake here. Up next, Gorosaurus. This one, you know, I've, I've had this opinion for a while, so this is very easy for me. Uh, on the the left there, that's the uh, Godzilla Store exclusive. I think it was exclusive, or maybe just a limited edition. Gorosaurus, uh, six-inch movie monster series. And then uh, Playmates, obviously, on the right. And yeah, just being honest, Playmates, they're getting this round. I, I really love the Gorosaurus figure, and this is where Playmates really started to turn around and make some solid Godzilla figures that were could compete with the Movie Monster series and just be right next to Movie Monster series figures. Their Gorosaurus, I think, is fantastic. Uh, 
it's just a solid core source so much so that i had no desire really to pick up this other gore source even when it became available again in the u.s godzilla store i looked at it i was like do i really want it like it, it it's not really like it's shorter than i feel like it should be uh maybe i'm wrong on that but i feel like gore source is not that short at least depicted by this figure here from bandai uh the playmates one i think is a good size uh, may not be as green as he needs to be but still a good color and i, I like the posing now they're both neutral poses which is if you know me that's what i prefer uh, with these simple plastic figures uh but with the playmates one the, he has a little bit more personality with that neutral pose that's not too much you know not he's not completely like looking in a weird direction that he you know should be like the monster vs city destruction godzilla 2014 from playmates but um there's just a little bit of a like a slant to him uh, if you've seen the figure you know what i mean you kind of see it here in the picture and to me it when i look at that i'm like that's gore source because in the i remember like godzilla's revenge where you see him and he's the suit actor is kind of standing in place but kind of like shifting around and the pose i know i'm just making a bigger deal out of this than it should be but the pose that playmates did kind of shows that just very slightly and i like that it's not as stiff as the Bandai one. Uh, so it's a... It, I don't know. I just like it. I really do. And this round goes to Playmates. That's all I gotta say. Up next, guys. I almost slipped that up. Gigan 2004. Playmates, you could have got this one if you would have just did Chainsaw Gigan, but you didn't. You kept it too safe. And uh, yeah, this one will go to Bandai again. It's just nicer paint, nicer details. I will say this Gigan from Playmates was a part of their Wave 1, which is not a very good wave. Uh, if you remember, you remember. Um, but this was probably the more solid figure out of the, the bunch that they released. Destroyer was another one, and I know I gave that round to uh, Playmates as well, but to be honest, the Movie Monster series Destroyer is you know kind of a low bar in my opinion so it's not nothing to write home about but this one here this guy again from playmates was not terrible you know if he did not have a 2004 guy again, this definitely was an option uh, in my opinion but compared to the movie monster series from bandai i have to give it the bandai it's just a nicer figure up next shin godzilla now if you remember i said earlier about buying a figure just for the shits and giggles because of how bad it is and ugh, playmates this is again a wave one figure and what a way to come out swinging and but swinging in the opposite direction because my god is that figure terrible so playmates kind of it seemed like they copied off like the NECA Shin Godzilla mold except they took that very detailed very articulated figure and try to turn it into a, a solid bootleg because that's what it looks like and it kind of is <laughs> a bootleg-ish figure like i'm sure some of us have seen some of these figures that um, are articulated and they get turned into like bootlegs that are very that go from being harder plastic with a lot of articulation to soft vinyl limited articulation and they just look very cheap <clears throat> And this is what playmates did they took a very articulated figure and made it very cheap and oh my god it's just so it's so bad that i i, I do have both of these figures um yeah you just had to get the playmates one it was so bad that it's just funny yeah, I'm, I'm glad i have it but when it comes to comparison obviously <laughs> bandai has the better shin godzilla i mean if this was a contest of who has the funnier goofier godzilla figure playmates by far but uh, no definitely banned out on this one and what makes it even funnier they went ahead and tried again <laughs> playmates put out another shin godzilla later on down the line towards the end of their toho classic series they tried they were like let's like give us another chance we're, we're gonna do shin godzilla again and it's definitely an improvement it definitely is um, they made it their own it's not so much a neutral pose which normally like i was talking about earlier i'm not a fan of but since again this is another shin godzilla uh, i'm okay with the head looking off into like the sky 
looking off into the distance. It's almost like a little mini statue at that point, and yeah, I'll let it slide. It, it's not a bad figure. It's definitely, again, better than their first workaround, but it still definitely looks a bit cheaper than the Movie Monster series, in my opinion. I could see someone saying they prefer the Playmates, but again, this round, um, it's going to go to Bandai. And yes, these two Playmate figures are going to be taken as separate rounds. So, just because. Just cause. So, both rounds, though, are going to Bandai, uh, unfortunately, for Playmates. Up next, Singular Point Godzilla. I want to be honest, I Singular Point is okay at best. The series. Excuse me. Um, I was not hoping... I understand why Playmates wanted to do a, at least the two singular point figures they did because it was a new thing. They probably planned it way in advance and, you know, capitalize on something brand new because that's when it's going to be most popular. So I understand why they did it. There's just so many other Toho Kaiju that I wish they would have done that they could have done a very good job with that maybe would have helped that line because I personally believe and maybe you kind of guess where I'm going with this. I've said it before. I felt like doing singular point figures and another Shin Godzilla figure kind of hurt the Toho series that they were doing and caused people to lose interest, caused low sales, which is why we see it kind of taper off. But Bandai, on the other hand, did some figures as well, did more singular point figures. Um, and I pretty much have all of them, including this Godzilla here. And I do prefer the Bandai Movie Monster series over the Playmates. Playmates, one I will say, is not a bad figure. Uh, does suffer from a bit of the goofy eye that Playmates is known for, but some of the paint and details are very nice on it. And um, if you did not have the Bandai Singular Point, if you were able to find the Ultima in store, if it's a hard one to find, because I don't know how much they really made of it, but if you're able to find it, it, it I think it sufficed. I think it's a good Ultima figure. Again, but like I said, I, I there's other figures they probably should have done before this. Up next, Jet Jaguar. So, I was excited when Playmates was going to do a Jet Jaguar figure. I really was. Because it was at the time, it would have been a readily available Jet Jaguar figure to American uh, buyers, American fans. Um, and when the first images came out, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. In hand, though, this is what I don't like about figures that are not in neutral poses. It... This figure does not stand up on its own. <clears throat> Sorry, let me take a sip of this, this drink. <sighs> there we go. Lube the throat up because I gotta speak on this. This Jet Jaguar could have been great. I'm fine with the hands and the, the karate pose that they're in. But the legs, I do not like that on the figure. On When I have it displayed, I have to have it leaning on another figure. It... I just do not like when toy companies do these kind of set poses that are just not practical. It does not stand up well unless you, it's like a balancing game. And also it's just like, it, it, it's not good. If we look at the Bandai one, he's in a more neutral pose while still doing the karate chop. And it's, I, it suffices. It looks good on the shelf and for, if, for kids who want to play with it, it offers again a neutral stance while also offering a bit of flair to it when they want to you know smash their figures together and pretend they're fighting um they could have done what the original jet jaguar bandai movie monster series figure did we had two fist um but i think playmates went a little too far with this and um i'm not i'm not too worried about how it's not as vibrant either i don't really care for that um but i'm giving this round the bandai as well i i this, the playmates just went again this one looked too far in my opinion you might have a different opinion that's perfectly fine but in my opinion this round goes to bandai space godzilla Woo! another wave one classic from playmates and uh i wonder which one you think i'm going to choose obviously this goes to play and just kidding it's going to bandai uh bandai their space godzilla looks great limited articulation very limited but what can you expect? He has those big old crystals on his shoulder, and it's a movie monster series figure. But Playmates is it's the same thing, has a little bit more articulation. It has that like weird ankles swivel that 
you know, you, this is there for some reason. If you want to twist his ankle <laughs> while he's, you're smashing it against other monsters, you think, oh, I, he twists his ankle in mid battle. How, how sad. But the paint and the glossiness, oh, too much glossiness, and the lack of detail is just terrible on the, play, the Playmates one. Again, that was their wave one. There was their first, first foot into the door, but definitely not a good figure. So this one going to Bandai as well. Here we have the other singular point figure from Playmates. Again, I don't think they should have done this. However, however, this round is going to go to Playmates because the Bandai one's not bad, but I really like the, I believe it's called Godzilla Terrestrius. Maybe I'm saying that right. Maybe I'm not saying it right. My apologies. But the Playmates one is better because, again, the neutral pose, for the most part, with a little bit of flair to it. And I really like the tail, too, how it curls up and it's pointier than the Playmates or the Bandai one. So I prefer that one over the Movie Monster series, Godzilla Terrestrius. The Bandai's one is not bad. Pretty vibrant. On, looks nice on the shelf with the Playmates one is the one I recommend the most. Obviously, if you can find it, I, I'm sure these figures are not that expensive on the aftermarket. They typically don't go for that much more. These, not till, not this far out since the line's been canceled, but I don't know. I haven't checked in a minute, but uh, if you can find it for a good price, I'd recommend picking it up. So, yeah, I know. I, I'm, I've given the point to Playmates, even though I said they should have done it, but I'll make an exception, okay? You still should have done, like, a Monster X, uh, King Caesar 2004 figure, all these other monsters that deserve to have their first like, six-inch figure. Or I know Monster X finally got a six-inch figure, but so many other Toho Kaiju that they could have done besides singular point figures, but at least this one is a very good figure, so I'll give it that. Up next, Burning Godzilla. I'll be honest, I'm back and forth on this one. Obviously the paint, or let me let me back up a bit. The detail on the Bandai Movie Monster series, Burning Godzilla, is superior. Um, a bit more movie accurate, I'll say as well. But the, the burning portion on him is very dull, especially in the re-release, compared to the Playmates. Excuse me. Um, Playmates one, I kind of like the pose better. He's a bit more upright. I like the hands. How they kind of did something different with the hands. One is kind of pointed down. The other one's pointed to the side. I, I like that. Um, the eyes are okay on the Playmates. They're not that goofy, but it's very cartoonish in a way. Uh, I'm thinking. Again, I have both these figures. I think I'm... When I think about it, I, I t I'm leaning towards the Playmates one more. And there might be some people who'd be like, what the fuck? Like, what? why? Again, that's just how I, I view it. And I'm going to say the same thing I said in the last video. If you ha have a different opinion than me, feel free to share it. Because we're this is just all rambling. We're all just having fun. Just talking about toys. Let me know what you guys think. Let me say, Danny, I agree with you. Danny, I don't agree with you. Let me know. It's, just, it's a fun discussion. All right? It's just fun. But this round, I'm giving it to Playmates. Up next, Baragon. This one, this is the final Toho series figure from Playmates. And although it's not the most accurate, it might have been a step back from the Gorosaurus line, uh, figure that came out before it. Um, or no, Gorosaurus came out a few waves before that. Never mind. Disregard what I just said. Uh, it's still a solid figure. I was very happy when it f I was finally able to get it. It was a bit tricky at first. Um, eventually, Big Bad Toy Store picked it up. Amazon had it for a minute. I remember I was able to get it for like 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, it never appeared in stores. Not that I think. I, I never seen anyone find it at Target. But it it's definitely a solid figure. However, the Bandai Movie Monster series, Baragon, is clearly more accurate to the film. Although I've, I, th if I remember correctly, this Baragon from Playmates might be from the movie from Destroy All Monsters for the millisecond that Baragon shows up in that movie. But even then, I, I don't think it's perfectly accurate. There's some creative liberty there. Liberty there. 
but still not a bad figure. Um, but I do feel I need to give this round to Bandai. It's just a better looking Baragon in the end. And um, there's some some slight pain issues I have with the, uh, the Playmates one. But a nice figure to end their series with. However, we have one more figure to look at here. I saved this one for last, and it's because at first he wasn't included in the list, but it's the only other, I'm pretty sure this is like the only other Playmate 6-inch figure that I uh, they released, and I kind of felt weird leaving it out, so I might as well bring it in and, and talk about it. It's classic Rodan. Now, to preference, the Bandai you see on the left is not a Movie Monster series figure. That is an 8-inch scale uh, classic Rodan from an older Bandai line. It's a, a bit more vintage now. Uh, I do have the figure though, so I have both of these. Um, also, I'm using the Playmates Rodan render that originally showed him having uh, wing articulation, uh, but he obviously does not have wing articulation in the final product. But again, I just wanted to include Rodan because, you know, why not? Shits and giggles, okay? There's no rules to this where I just having fun. And for the comparison, okay, Playmates is again is doing a, a neutral pose with a little bit of a uh, pizzazz to it compared to what Bandai did way back in like the 90s or whatever. Um, this one's kind of hard. I think I'm going to give it to Playmates on this one because it's another solid piece from them. It's not a bad figure, again, for the price. And the Bandai was not bad, but it's also, like, it is quite shiny. And um, I, I guess the Playmates, again, where they add a little bit of a flair to their, their the pose, the final pose of the figure, kind of, it helped it out. They didn't go too far with it. Uh, it, it looks nice uh, compared to the Bandai one, although we can't be too harsh on the original, because again, it's an older figure, so, but I'm going to give this round to Playmates. And here we have it, people, the final score, Bandai 8, Playmates 5, I just spit, oh my goodness, how disgusting, my poor monitor, but yep, Bandai has taken the cake on this one, they redeemed themselves to a deadline that no longer exists, <laughs> but Playmates, again, they, they tried. They came out the door tripping and breaking their shins, but they eventually healed and put out some pretty good figures. And I will say, if if they didn't... Okay, I, I've heard different opinions. Again, I don't think they should have did another Shin Godzilla and another singular point or two singular point figures. However... It was around that time, especially with the Gorosaurus and Rodan wave, where they really started to put out some solid stuff. And I do feel like if they had continued the Toho series and started focusing on some other uh, Toho monsters that maybe people want to see figures of, especially affordable figures of, um, this line could have continued and definitely competed with the Movie Monster series figures. Um, and really been something special. Uh, so it is kind of sad to see them start to get their, their, their shit together and then ends up closing the line down. But it is what it is. But it's still fun to look back on these figures. Uh, if you can Again, if you can find some of these on eBay for an affordable price, I, I do recommend a few of them. So maybe not too many of the Wave 1 ones, unless it's that Shin Godzilla, which is just fun to have because of how it looks. But uh, some of the, like the Gorosaurus, Godzilla Terrestrius, even the Godzilla Ultima, stuff like that, if you can find those, they're, they're solid pieces, in my opinion. Uh, and obviously the Movie Monster series, most of those you can still find. Most of them, I think. Uh, so, it is what it is, people. Let me know what you guys think, if you agree, if you disagree. Alright? Don't be shy, let me know. But anyway, that's all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed, I hope you all take care, and I'll see you all next time.